We've talked about what we can do in the home to conserve energy. Now let's take a look at a green school, Davidson Elementary. This school is designed to not only save energy, but teach students how they can conserve energy for the future. There are specially designed windows that maximize daylight, recycled blue jeans for insulation, a recycling club, and solar panels from Tucson Electric Power. We are here today at Davidson Elementary with Mr. Rose Martin. Thanks for being with us today. You're very welcome. Mr. Rose Martin, can you tell us a little bit about how you've worked solar into your curriculum of your classroom? Sure. Well, we start off the year with a weather unit, so we start talking about the local uh, climate, which is great, and then we move into an electricity unit, so it ties in perfectly because we talk about our solar panels that we have in our school, um, and the kids are going to start doing experiments on how they could actually use the solar energy um, to create some kind of electricity. Um, we also started an extracurricular activity, which is the recycling club, to actually have them do some type of action from what the message that they've learned. Um, and one of the messages that we want them to understand is that to know where our energy comes from um, and the resources it uses and how changing our uh, different ways of collecting energy could affect our environment. Do you see a big change in the students? Well, the kids got really excited. We actually did a community cleanup this weekend with our recycling club, and they were excited to clean up Tucson. And they, were, they, they actually were really got excited, and, and I think that's something that not a lot of kids get excited about um, unless they actually participate in it. So I think that was really fun. I am in the recycling program, which uh, it helps us really grateful because we go around the classrooms and we tell, we give them papers and stuff for them to read about the environmental designs of all of the world and everything that's going around the Earth's surface. And we also use good chemicals in our school. We don't use bad chemicals like we did in our old school. And since we're a green building, we're happy of the way our school is and that's the way the environmental design has worked. This has changed my thought because we're saving the world. We're we're doing all this stuff for the world and we just really want it to live and save our community and stuff like that. Yes, we have 60 solar panels and the photovoltaic modules, they're used for the sunlight because we don't want to waste all the sunlight. We want the sunlight to flash back and we only want to use the sun for good things and not bad things. One of the major supporters of Davidson Elementary is Tucson Electric Power. Through Tucson Electric Power's GreenWatts and SunShare programs, they work to educate the public on new and better ways to conserve energy. Joe, can you tell me how TEP is encouraging the development of solar energy? Well, one of the important things that we do is help our customers help us fund the development of solar energy through our GreenWatts program. We ask our environmentally minded customers to contribute a little extra to their electric bill and we take the money that they provide and use it to invest in our community. And how does TEP invest the money contributed by Green Watts? What we typically do with those funds is use it to purchase systems such as the one you see here behind me at Davidson Elementary School. Uh, we look to build solar energy systems in schools, public parks, and other places where people are likely to encounter them, ask questions about them, about them and hopefully learn about how solar energy can contribute to our environment and to our local energy picture here in Tucson. Can you tell me a little bit more about the system that TEP helped install here at Davidson Elementary? We see the solar right. panels. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Sure, we've got nine kilowatts uh, behind me here and that uh, produces a fair amount of energy, not enough to uh, provide electricity for the entire school. It would probably be enough to uh, meet the annual electric needs of a typical Tucson home. This school is larger than a home, so to, it's going to use a little more energy than that. But what it will do is provide the students here an opportunity to learn about solar energy and to see how, how they can make that integrate into their lives. Did Tucson Electric Power help with the curriculum on solar energy for the students here? We have. We've worked with uh, teachers uh, throughout this district and others to help them integrate uh, the information that they get from our solar panels into their curriculum. Students today uh, need to have a good recognition of the energy technologies that they're going to be using. Uh, they're different from the ones that we've been accustomed to in our life. These children here are going to have an entirely different uh, energy outlook as they move 20, 30 years into the future. And we're hoping that these uh, panels here will be a little part of the foundation that they need to move forward. Is Davidson Elementary the first school 
It isn't. We actually have uh, close to two dozen uh, places in town where we've located uh, community solar installations like this. Um, we've got them in uh, public parks. There's some at the going in on the new energy efficient uh, zoo school uh, building that's under construction. We're really looking forward to, to seeing those panels in place. Uh, we've got others at Tohono Chul Park. Uh, at the Tucson International Airport, you can see some of our solar panels as you're driving out of the parking lot. So really, we're hoping to build the, the understanding that solar is just integrated into our lives here in Tucson. We've got a lot of sun overhead and we need to start taking advantage of that at every opportunity. You talked a little bit about the future. Can you tell me, Joe, what the long-term solar goal is for Tucson Electric Power? Well, we're working with our Corporation Commission to meet new environmental portfolio standards that have been approved that would encourage us to have as much as 15% of our energy produced from renewable means by the year 2015. So right now we're working hard to come up with the best plan for making that happen, and a big part of it is going to be rooftop solar systems like the one you see here behind me. Joe, can you tell me a little bit about Tucson Electric Power SunShare program? Sure. For customers who are interested in having photovoltaic equipment in their own homes, uh, our SunShare program provides subsidies that can help that make that a little bit more affordable. Uh, we provide subsidies of up to $3,000 per DC kilowatt of system capacity. And that can go a long way towards making uh, these kinds of systems more affordable, both for homeowners and for business owners who would like to do a little bit to help the environment. Uh, the payoff for those systems uh, can still be, it takes some time. Uh, the investment in solar energy is something you do at this point uh, because you're trying to do the right thing. Uh, most of our SunShare customers are looking to reduce their carbon footprint per se. They'd like to do what they can to help reduce their own impact on the environment. And the systems like these here are the pro probably the best way that any of us have to contribute to the environment and to produce safe, renewable energy in our own homes. Sounds like Tucson Electric Power is doing a lot of public-private work, and it's wonderful to see that you are actually helping individuals to reduce their carbon footprint. Well, we're doing everything we can. I mean, that's really the future of uh, electric generation here in our community, is going to be systems like these on people's rooftops. And so the great, to the greater extent that we can get these uh, started, uh, the more of these that we can put on rooftops now, that'll be that much of a head start as we move forward into the future.